Hey folks, this is Jake, and today I'm going to go get a table saw. So listen, I just moved to Minnesota with my family this past June. And I don't have a lot of, of my own woodworking equipment. I had a bunch at my old work that I could use and was available to me, um, but I gotta get some. So I recently picked up a bandsaw, a really great deal, and a planer, but I really need a table saw. And I was watching Mr. Matt Cremona on Periscope, and he's talking about that he just got a new saw stop and he's selling his old table saw. So uh, I got in touch with him and he said, yeah, I'm selling it, come get it. So. Um, I'm heading out there today, so we're going to go hang out with Matt Cremona for a little bit and go pick up a table saw and go see what he's doing, so let's go. So when I got there, Matt showed me around a little bit and uh, showed me what he was doing. So we got this thing up to the back of the truck, but then it was trying to figure out how to get it in because the rails on the front and back were pretty long and uh, this thing weighs a ton. So how are we going to get this thing in? Uh, my hitch on the back doesn't come out because it's rusted into the receiver. So now came the fun part. So we took the front rail off, got that out of the way, and then I took that back section off to give us a little bit more room. It still isn't going in. So now I decided we're going to take one of the wings off uh, to get this to slide in on, on its side. I love how Matt makes it look so easy to pull off. Hey guys, I'm here with Matt Cremona and I just picked up the uh, table saw. So you'll see that in a little bit. It's missing. Yeah, so it's not here anymore. It's gone. <laughs> but that's cool. I get it now and I get to use it. So it's going to a good home. So that'll be good. But uh, I asked him just to show us around real quick. I'm sure you've all seen the shot before, but I get to see it in person. So that's <laughs> part of the fun. So why don't you just show us around real quick and then we'll go see the uh, yeah, the latest project. It's an absolute mess right now. That's okay. It's supposed to be. Well, it's like worse than usual. Okay. Um, I'm in the middle of doing a whole bunch of new stuff in the shop. So the new table saw came in. So it's like all this stuff. It's got to get set up still. Right. I still have to set up all the stuff on the Triton deal right. that I have going. So I got all this stuff I got to find a home for. Yeah, a lot of Triton stuff. Place. Um, I've got the, the sawmill motor that I got to work on as well or figure out. That's over here. And then on the bench, I'm working on a product tour video for Highland Woodworking on the Benchcrafted bench hardware. So I have their okay. uh, the full line of 
uh, leg vices. So that's going to go for something like you've got here? Yep, this is the, okay. these are the newer versions okay, of this. Of that, okay. Yep. Nice. Yep. Very cool. Do a little video about that. Very and, nice. Uh, now I get the drill press out still because I've been drilling all the steel. Right. And yeah. uh, the, the drill press needs a new belt because I right. killed it. Yeah, you put it through a workout? Uh, more than a workout. More than a workout, yeah. It's, it's crying? Probably not healthy for it. Okay. <laughs> Very nice, because this is something everybody I think has to do is just make the best use of the space they got. So. Yeah, and I've, I've really packed a lot of stuff into this, it's a two car garage. Yeah. So I really packed a lot of stuff in here, and I could do more, but I gotta be able to like move around for filming and right. stuff, so yeah. it makes yeah. it a little more difficult to okay. really go overboard with stuff. Right. But the out here is all the logs, Right. the log trailer, and the log lift thing. The Miss Log Trailer. And yes, the, these are as big as they look. Um, and per, actually, they're bigger than they look on camera, I think. So. Well, I believe it. Yeah. It's like this one here. It's like, it doesn't look like sitting big from here, but when you like, start looking at it like this, I'm like, that's a. Uh, it's a big log. It's a big log. Yeah. It's a big tree. Yeah, it is. And it's like this thing. Or this wasn't even like the base of the tree. This, this is up in the air somewhere. Real. <laughs> For real. Yeah, this this one came from the base of that was like a six foot diameter log that I just okay. couldn't get because it's too big. Yeah. But yeah, it that was one of the crotches somewhere up in the tree somewhere. Yeah. So imagine how big that tree was. But this is the sawmill so far. Uh, with the carriage, working carriage, and so far has come. Nice, it's coming along. Yeah, moves back and forth. That's pretty happy with that. That's right. Halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the saw head is the most difficult part yeah, to make. Right. So. Very cool. Yeah. Well, listen. I'm gonna get a ton of use out of the saw uh, coming up here because I don't. Again, I don't have anything just yet because we just moved here. But uh, yeah. I got it from Matt, so we'll it's, see what it's, happens. It's been through a lot. But it'll work. It made a whole flooring thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. 400 square feet of flooring right yeah. there. And probably more before that. Oh too, yeah. So. Yeah, cool. <laughs> well, cool. It was great meeting you. Yeah, you too. Nice hopefully to we'll, uh, we'll meet up again here yeah. and hang out. But uh, yeah, I appreciate it a lot. Hey, welcome back uh, anytime. Thanks. No problem. Okay, so we got this thing off the truck finally. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit of a bear to get off of here, but we made it happen. So, uh, still got to tune this thing up, get the blade on, and set the table to the blade, make sure everything is good to go. Uh, but I'm really excited to get going on this and make some projects with it. So thanks again, Matt, for helping me out and hooking me up here. And if you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe down below, like down below, and comment down below. I'd appreciate it. And this is Jake of All Trades saying we'll see you next time.